at Quainton behind number 66 the last built industrial steam engine until Tornado was built many decades later I've seen this engine a few times but last few times it's either been in the bag of bits just the cabin in one place or it's tank in another part just sitting around now the time I visited it was together but I had no boiler and then the last few times this year I've come I either haven't seen it or it hasn't been in steam so I've driven all 25 miles to get here it took about an hour on my little one my little 250 which is great because I thought it would take about an hour and ten so as mentioned number 66 is an austerity engine the J class 060 saddle tank as you can see the line you can also see that the miniature railway is running with a little diesel which is a nice surprise and I shall be having a ride on that in about 10 minutes from now I didn't know they were going to have a little engine going but it's worth a shot having a look anyway not so being behind it that's a nice surprise to do it oh what is that it just looks like big white wrappers and more good stuff because it isn't a gala day today it's just a steaming day had lots of drizzle on the way over here but last quarter of the run was fine and I still got here in about an hour thinking because a smaller bike less power worse weather than I usually do I thought I'd get here about an hour 10 hour 15 but nope bang on an hour and going back to what I was saying about steam between the carriages You can also hear the little horn. Oh, no, it's a whistle, isn't it? Doot doot. Off we go back and forth. And a nice little jolly ride back and forth. <coughs> and if you look across there, you can see the town of. Is it? No, it's not even a town, is it? It's the village of Quainton. And their windmill in the background now rebuilt the last two to twice I've been over there and the roof has been removed so it was just like a colander not a colander what's the thing like a salt shaker with that top oh, lots of water going in the roof I believe now we're going back towards the Mitchell Railway and the long viaduct looks quite nice I wonder where that, that little diesel engine goes. Ah, uh, yes, there it is. Named Douglas. So once I've toddled up there and have a sit on, I'll pay for my little one pound ticket and have a little sit on the train and record the footage and the home engines because I've never been on it. Because it takes an hour to get here and it's not the best weather, I'm going to make the most of it. You might say I'm rambling, but someone will actually sit and listen to this. And I'm just going to show it for some people, that, people around the world who have not been to this railway and don't know the sights and sounds of the place. So I'm going to give them a chance to have a look. You can see it's quite an impressive sight. Mm. Also 
various wagons. You've got Metropolitan ones on the underground many, many, many years ago. Yep, this one. Varying quality as well. I'm not sure how this will come out. Well, you can see it says special on the front. It doesn't say special, special. Oh, we're coming back towards the platform. Nope, we stopped again. We're going to go back out. Because you can see they've got their gift shop. There. Got some old carriages. And then we've got more underground mm. stuff over there. You can hear a little doot doot. The whistle. And then back we go again. This little joyride. Maybe not a joy, but it's relaxing. And you get to move about by a real life steam engine. You can see the carriage. Even though it looks light blue or navy blue, the actually darker shade of blue leaning towards purpley colour. Violet, yeah. A violet blue. from British Rail Days. You do wonder how they get things from one side of the site to the other. It doesn't seem to be any joining track. Because you've got this half and then you've got that half. Here. So the track is in the middle which is main line. You know. Midland Road, or as call it. And as you can see in the corridor, you can see all the way down to the end. We've got someone coming along. You can probably, you can probably walk from one end of these carriages to the other. We've got three carriages. One's Midland Railway, the other two are British Railways. Not Midland, uh, yeah. LMS London, Midland and Scottish. I'm Scottish. Not really, money, but hey, Scottish, yeah. Got it. Prevent the drafts. Do not open the window beyond arrows. Alarm. Pull the chain and put it over in proper use. Twenty-five pound. <laughs> When it is above a lam alam. And then we've got this piece of wheel passages. Please help each other at busy times by raising the armrest so that our that ball may sit on each side. And as you can see, we don't have any armrests. They've been removed. It says do not open the door. It's only going to be one minute. Listen to the steam engine chopping away.
It's a whistle. Come back to Frank Timber. Bye. <laughs> back to our original destination. Oh, I thought you would enjoy that. Well, at least I'm in some way interested. And this is the break. Bye bye.